Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. I've really been enjoying this series. We are on the Faster 7 series where I show you in a series of very simple steps how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system. Now in this video, I'm going to show you probably another really powerful one for a lot of you who don't have enough memory or RAM to run your Windows 7 operating system. Now we're not going to disable the arrow effects. I don't like to disable the arrow effects. I like them a lot. But I am going to show you later on how to do that because that's usually pretty optional. Um, but First thing you need to do is go up to computer and right click on it and click properties. And uh, obviously this is a different window. It doesn't show up when you're using XP, uh, but you wanna do advanced system settings. Go ahead and select that. And then we wanna click the advanced tab up in the middle of the system properties window. And then under performance, we're gonna click settings. Now this is going to bring up your visual effects menu. And as you can see by, uh, by standard, uh, Standard default, there's all kinds of effects that are actually enabled. All of them are completely unnecessary. You don't have to have any of these effects running in order to make your computer run. Now, if you want Windows 7 to run better, you can always say adjust for best performance, and that will disable everything. Now, of course, we don't want to disable everything. I typically recommend keeping these bottom three, smooth edges of screen fonts, use drop shadows for icon labels on desktop, and use visual styles on windows and buttons. This will at least make it look pretty nice when I do it. So let me go ahead and click, and apply, click apply, and you'll see how it looks. And if you decide this isn't something you want to do, then you, know, you can always change it back. But as you can see, it still retains a lot of its Windows 7 look. You know, except for obviously my bottom bar isn't transparent anymore. Um, can I even do the locking anymore? Yeah, I can still do the locking and the, and the maximize and minimizing on the screen. Um, but obviously most of it's just a visual visual effect. Now this is definitely going to give you some performance increase because it takes less of a burden on your memory card, on your I'm sorry, on your memory and your graphics card. So for those of you who are bought a computer with inadequate memory and graphics card, then this is one of the greatest tips for you, one of the best. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by and stay tuned. There's many, many more to come. And uh, leave comments and ratings. Don't forget to subscribe and share these videos with friends and family so you can help PC Michigan grow. And uh, it's a completely free service. So swing by anytime, ask me questions. I have a forum where you can uh, subscribe. Thanks again.